I'm Jack Plotnick, and my hobby is helping actors to enjoy acting again. You know, there's an old saying that goes, a real actor is always in class. I wonder who made that up? See, I believe that a real actor is always acting, obsessed with it in whatever form you enjoy the most. Theater, film, sketch, stand-up, improv. Because that's how we grow and get better, by doing our art all the time for the selfish love of doing it. There's nothing wrong with studying your craft. Acting is an art form, like a painter or a musician. And there are great painters and musicians who went to the finest schools, but there are also great painters and musicians who never trained at all. I mean, let's face it, a lot of our favorite actors never got training. I mean, how many Oscars has Jennifer Lawrence been nominated for? She never trained. I have a friend who worked with her and he asked her why and she said when she was 14 she saw an acting coach in New York who told her she didn't need training and so she believed him. Julie Andrews, no training. Aaron Paul, Polly Perrette. I asked Polly why she didn't train and she said, why would I? Side note, if you want to make a living doing classical theater or musical theater especially, you must get some formal training because that sort of theater acting requires great control of your instrument, voice, speech, movement. But once you theater actors have started down that road, two, four, six years, you're done. You got into acting to act, not to train. There is no right way to pursue a career in the arts. You can get wherever you want to go in many ways, but I will say, any acting teacher who doesn't tell you that acting is easier and more fun than you ever imagined is a scam artist. They have to convince you it's hard or you won't keep going to them and giving them your money. My motto is, acting is f***ing easy. And I can say that because I personally define acting as behaving as if it's really happening. I mean, right? Am I missing it? Isn't that it? Isn't acting just behaving as if it's really happening? In other words, playing pretend. There's no right way to do that, and you've known how to since you were a kid. Now, though acting is easy, it is uncomfortable. Super uncomfortable. You feel vulnerable and tense. Your heart is racing. You've got butterflies in your stomach. That's fine. That excitement will never go away, and that's a good thing. Judy Dench calls it her batteries. It's that racing heart that makes magic happen in your performance. I believe that what you do creates more of it in your life. So. Being in class creates more of you in class. And that's because you've surrounded yourself by other actors who've given up their power and only do their art in front of an authority figure who's probably telling you how you're doing it wrong. But when you, for instance, put yourself on film, it creates more of you on film. When you are actively pursuing your dream by doing what you love as often as you can for the pure selfish love of doing it, finding your artistic community and surrounding yourself by others who inspire you, who've also taken back their power. You grow as an artist, you get better at your craft, and best of all, the universe sends you gifts. I have booked so much work from people seeing me perform live or in my stupid videos, but no one's going to discover you in your class. So start doing what you love today and try not to judge yourself. You're making art, imperfect, messy, joyful art. And everything I teach you can read in my free ebook.